Hello everyone, it's Printmaster here, and today I have a Bionicle set to review. This is the LEGO 8605 Toa Mattel set from 2004. This set comes with 46 pieces, was rated for ages 7 and up, and cost you only $8 back when it was in the stores. So, I am not the biggest Bionicle fan, but I do have quite a, f I do have a, a decent amount of sets. And the ones that I do have, I certainly like, so, yeah, let's look at the canister. Not the box, the canister be the first part of the review. Alright, so this is what the canister looks like. It is quite nice and I think it's better than the, the one that comes after this with the Hordika uh, series. But yeah, I think this is a, a, a really nice packaging. I think it's, yeah, it's, it's quite good. And you can see here at the back it shows you a picture of the map of Metronui, which is the setting for these Bionicle stories, and it shows you which Toa come from which region, and Matau comes from the, the southernmost region of this continent. You can see here it shows you a picture of him, Toa Matau, and here it tells you you can win a game, which, yeah, comes with this little, it's supposed to come with a small, I don't even know what to call it, it's a little piece of paper that says that you can win some kind of gaming system or comic books but yeah unfortunately since i got this used it didn't come with that i do have a, a vaki uh, bionicle that hopefully i can review soon that does have a little pamphlet or something in it so another thing that i'd like to mention with this is that on the top is that a peg hole yeah that that is and I, I kind of see this box, well, the canister, as partially a Lego piece, which is something that you don't see very often. I know they did that with some of the racer sets, but honestly, if I were to get this set, well, another Toa set from this this era, I would not even accept this set if it doesn't have the canister, because this, I think, is a real piece. That, I believe, is is a Lego piece, so I think you'd be... This would be a, a set missing pieces if it didn't come with that canister. So, yeah, let's look at the instructions. All right, so here are the instructions. They are, they're, they had been rolled up because it's in a canister. But overall, I think the instructions are, are pretty nice. They don't come with the, the little box that tells you what pieces you need for each set, but this is just an action figure. It should be really easy. It only comes with 40 something pieces and here at the back it shows you of course the map of Metronui and all the little I guess biomes that are in the in that world. Here it also shows you some other sets released that year. It's kind of hard to show this to you because I don't want the page to close on me but I think now it's fine. Here it shows you some of the Matorans which are of course the small, I think they're the elders or something like that. I think that the Bionicle characters get smaller as they get older um, here it shows you how you can combine the two lids of the canisters. And here at the back, it tells you to go on Bionicle, uh, the Bionicle site on lego.com. It's probably not there anymore, unfortunately, but, yeah, overall, I think the instructions are pretty good. Alright, so here is Toa Metal. I think he's really nice, and this t style of Toa is definitely my favorite for the original, the the old school Bionicle series, if you if you may, and I really like the articulation in this minifigure. I think this is the first year that included knees, which of course you you would need, and also this year included some elbows as well, which I think is very very important for an action figure. I think that the original Bionicles were kind of, were, were a bit lacking. I don't think they're nearly as good as these ones. But anyway, so I pose this minifigure just to show you all the, how you can articulate it. And see, there's a, they use these ball and socket joints, and you can see that you can pose him very, very well. You can actually make his leg go all the way back like this, which I think is pretty, pretty neat. And I love the texturing on this. It, it looks like it's mechanical, but somewhat organic. It's, it's pretty neat. I really like these pieces. And I think that that's one of the bad things about the, the newer series of 
Bionicle that just retired a couple years ago. Well, actually, I think it's five years ago now, but I just see it as a few years ago, really. But I think that's what the newer Bionicle series was lacking, the fact that it didn't have all these really nice uh, texturing details on it. They just used a bunch of older Hero Factory pieces, which I think were a bit... That was sad, unfortunately. But anyway, he has some pretty nice swords. And, of course, you can move his his elbows and make his arms go like that. You can move his hands. His hands are just these kinds of pieces. So, yeah, maybe it would have been better to include actual hand pieces. But I don't think they had those at the time. But they don't bother me that much. You can see he has some shoulders right here. And I think they look good with this, with this really neat piece. And... This is what his mask looks like, of course. I think it looks quite good. I think this is an exclusive mask to only come in this set because this is, of course, just metal. And if you take the mask off, that's what his head looks like underneath. And it's just a regular looking head. I don't think it's supposed to look that great underneath. And yeah, that's what he looks like at the front. So here at the back is where the action feature is. And I'll try to stand him up a bit more straight. But anyway, yeah, this is where the action feature is. And if you turn this gear, his his arms will swing like this. So he can he can be fighting some kind of enemy. He can just you can just go berserk on him. Just start slashing him with his with his knives and that looks great. And another thing that you'll see back here are these two blue peg pieces. And you might be wondering what those are for and uh this toe, of course, can fly, which is something that LEGO decided to put in the, the build. So what you can do is you can take his swords out of his, his hand, which actually is a little hard to do because they're very... For some reason, this piece doesn't like to really slide out as much. But if you use a, a decent amount of force, you'll get it out. And you can, of course, do that to the, the other side. And... By taking it out, you can put the swords on here, and they can now work as wings, and they can be back here if you are walking around, and I think it looks somewhat bug-like, but of course you can extend the wings and have him fly around and everything, so I think that's a, a pretty neat idea, and I'll show you this is what it looks like at the front with his wings out. And that's what he looks like with his wings back. So I think that's a he's a very nice looking minifigure. So not minifigure figure. I guess I'm just used to saying minifigure. But yeah, that's basically it for this set. Alright, so for my overall thoughts on Toa Matau, I think that he is a very nice action figure. And I think that you can't really compare something like Bionicle or Hero Factory to your regular sets, so you just have to compare them to other sets that are either Bionicle or, or Hero Factory. So I think that this is a great figure. I think this is probably the best line of Bionicle, especially between 2001 when they came out to 2006 at least. I haven't really looked at the, the later ones from the original release, but... I think that these look really nice. I love all the the the, the detailing on their, their pieces. I think that looks really nice. I think that the action figure is integrated quite well. You can see it there, the, the gears in there, but honestly, I think it looks good. And I would highly recommend this if you're a Bionicle fan. If you're not really a Bionicle fan, it probably won't really matter as much to you, this set. But... Yeah, if you're a Bionicle fan, definitely go for it. It is probably the best, best line uh, from that series. So yeah, I'd pay maybe around fifteen to twenty dollars for this figure if you want to get it used. I don't know how much it is new because it's probably something ridiculous like forty dollars, where you're paying a dollar for each piece. But yeah, I would recommend this set. Stick around for a bit more Bionicle reviews. I have a few more on the way. Um, so I hope you enjoy this video. I'll see you all later. Bye.